Hello, hello, gentle viewers. The kids are in bed, there's quiet in the house, and I am going to do some warm stratification. Join me. All right, I've got my sand. I have my Ziploc bags. I have my writing utensil. I'm gonna use a spoon today to try to keep the sand off my hands as much as possible. We'll see how that goes. And most importantly, I have my seeds, yay! These are, let's see if I can get this where you can see it. There we go. We're using warm stratification on these. Now, I looked this one up and even though it says, uh, I think it says question mark, <laughs> that's so much fun. Uh, I think that uh, warm stratification and then cold stratification will be good. Uh, these are some of the ones I want to do a period of warm inside and then put outside for winter sowing. Uh, so I'm going to get those started as soon as I can. Same thing with these. This is, let me take this off. There we go. We got your one type of elderberry and another type of elderberry. I'm going to do the same with those. Uh, this just had M as in just plant outdoors. See how it does. Uh, so I decided I would go with a period of warm and then winter so outside. Uh, and these, these are all well known, I'll turn this, to need a period of warmth first and then a period of, co of cold. So that's what I'm gonna do. These are all the refrigerated ones. I'd like to get them out of my refrigerator. So I figured I'd do those all now with you. Even though I have a whole stack, whole stack of dried ones, that aren't refrigerate that don't need refrigeration waiting on me. I also have my uh, little bit of whiskey, my evening whiskey. Because the kids are in bed. All right, so let's start with this wild ginger. All right, I've got two packets of it. How many seeds in each? Uh, about 40 seeds in each. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and do two separate bags for those, you know, in case one messes up and gets all funky. I've got plenty of seeds. Um, I'm not going to hold any seeds back in reserve since they need to be refrigerated and are better used fresh. So I'm going to go all in. Okay. Uh, and today, what is today's date? You know, I don't even know what today's date is. I'll write that in later. Now, if you watched my cold, warm, cold stratification video from the other day, you will have seen some of this process already. But if you didn't, that's also fine because I'm gonna go through it all again. Let's just set those out of the way. When something needs stratification, it usually means that it needs to be moist and inside some sort of when something needs warm stratification usually it needs moist stratification a moist period of there we go here's our seeds for today a moist period of warmth uh, i am planning on getting a seed mat so um so that'll keep things nice and consistent at a consistent temperature. Um, and until then, I'm gonna put these over by my fireplace, which will be plenty warm. All right, like I did in the other video, since this comes with its own little plastic baggie, I am going to just add some sand to this plastic baggie. So if you're gonna artificially stratify these like I am, you want to put a little bit of a medium in there, something to help keep it moist. Uh, and um, you want it to be a sterile medium. I have sterilized this sand, uh, and that's what I'm gonna use today. You could use other mediums. You could use vermiculite, you could use cocoa core. Um, that's a little more than I need. I'm going to use slightly more than the amount of seeds that I have. That should be good though. All right, let's see if I can get this in here without making a mess. I did this with my hands for the cold, warm, cold stratification and found myself all sandy all the time. 
So I'm gonna do this. Try not to get a sandy this time. You learn. You learn over time. So the idea is that you want to just mix in the seeds into the moist medium. There we go. Let's get them all folded in together. So that all of your seeds will stay moist. All right. Give it a little shake down. And there we go. Now I'm going to leave this little baggie open. Uh, mainly because I think that the sand has maybe slightly too much moisture in it than uh, it needs. So with the little baggie open just a bit, um, that will help some of that evaporate. And I'll keep a close eye uh, to see if I need to change that at all. Same thing with this one. I'm going to leave it open just a bit. And that will go into my larger bag shortly. All right, that's one done. One down. Here we go with another. I am assuming that this is also going to have a little baggie in it for me. Let's find out. And voila. Yes, it does. There's my seeds. Okay, I'm going to take my Sand. I'm going to add a bit of sand. It's about the same, roughly the same amount. This does not have to be a perfect measurement. You don't want your seeds to get lost in there too much, and you definitely want enough. But it doesn't have to be a perfect measurement. Right, so we get some that way. Why did I choose sand? I chose sand because uh, Prairie Moon Nursery suggested sand. So that's what I'm using. They actually have a, um, a kit of, that comes with some sand. It's very fine white sand, uh, which I thought was kind of neat. I did not want to spend that money. Uh, since I had sand of my own. All right, now these spring beauties, they are so lovely. And I've seen these in the wild uh, and they are absolutely amazing. I have seen them nowhere near my house, um, but I have seen them in the wild and I really wanted them. Uh, I ordered some last year and tried them out. I tried them just regular winter sowing. So that's uh, a single cold stratification uh, and I, uh, the place that I ordered them from did not have uh, instructions as good as these, but they did not germinate this spring. So they're still outside. They're still in their winter sowing containers. Uh, I'm hoping that they will come up after they've been through this past summer uh, and now a full another winter. I'm hoping that they will come up, but because they didn't germinate, uh, I did order some more seeds. Are such beautiful little black glossy tiny seeds. Get down, get down there. This one little seed wants to escape. Get down there. All right. A little bit of sand into the bag. The nice thing about not having to take these seeds out of the bag is that I don't have to worry about losing them because I I would I would spill seeds all over the floor I wouldn't mean to of course but sometimes things happen and probably wouldn't happen most of the time but I'm sure that it would happen with something so it's nice just to be able to keep everything in the little baggie these do not want to fold in as well but that's all right they will be warm and moist and in their sand anyway. And I'll give them another mix. Okay, so that's one. That's 
one spring beauty. Let's do the next spring beauty. A friend of mine um, reminded me that I had tried <laughs> some seeds that I got for um, maple leaf viburnum. Um, tried to winter sow them last year, um, knowing full well that they needed a period of um, warm stratification first. So they were one of the first ones I put in winter sowing containers and I put them straight in with uh, soil into their container uh, and then stuck them on my radiator in my kitchen uh, for a period of time. Uh, and about halfway through our cold spell, so probably mm, mid-February, maybe later, uh, I stuck them outside with the other winter sown um, seeds, thinking maybe that would be enough, and they did not germinate. They are, in fact, still outside, and it is possible that they will germinate this spring. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's write these down here. So these are spring beauty. Okay, I have one, two, three, four more to do, uh, and I will do those off camera, because I don't know how long you wanna watch me do this. Um, I think you get the gist of what to do. You take your seeds, you add a little bit of sand or other sterile medium, give it a little bit of a mix, stick it in a little baggie, and then put it somewhere warm. Uh, so I'm going to get all of these in their baggies, and then I will see you uh, on the other side of that. Okay, I said I was going to come back uh, when I was done with these, and I still have two more left, but uh, I devised a slightly easier way to mix the seed and the sand together. And I thought you would benefit from seeing that. Might as well. If anything, oh, and of course this doesn't come in its own little plastic baggie. Well, Let's see if the other one does. Come on, little plastic baggie. Yes. There we go. All right. So here we have. We have our seed. Get rid of my light there. I'm going to spoon in my sand. I'm going to close it up. All right, now there's still, there's a little bit of air in there. I hope you can kind of see that. Uh, and I'm going to, because it's closed, I can go all the way around. So I give it a shake, shakey shake, a little mixy mix. You know, I think, I just want to make sure I don't have any seeds up at the top. I think those are all down in the bottom. All right, and now that that's done, I'm gonna pop this open again so some of that moisture can get out. This was the bell wart. So, just a quick tip for you. Okay, I'll do this last one off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, my baggie for warm stratification then cold stratification is ready for its warmth. We'll go together. I'll show you where I put it. All right, here we are at my fireplace. And we have a fireplace cat. And I nestled this bag in right amongst the plants here. So when I water the plants, I'll come and be reminded to check on those. They will get uh, pretty decent heat when the fireplace is on and then uh, more moderate temperatures when the fireplace is not on and just the house is heated. That's probably 80 degrees over here uh, right now with the fireplace going and we keep the temperature set to about 
68 overnight and we don't usually change that during the day honestly but it's a comfortable temperature so they'll be just fine cycling a little bit back and forth that's what they do in nature anyway so we're back over here by the fireplace and you can see here are the warm stratification sown seeds they are warm which is good as they should be uh, i did add a little bit of water to a couple of them just a couple of drops and i did zipper them all closed it's been about a month since i put them up there and in about two weeks i will check on them again a couple of them i will start outside for winter sowing i'll see y'all soon bye bye